Hey you guys, what's going on? Uh, Smoking Fireman here. <clears throat> this is going to be a VR to Harriet Herfer for her 100 sub giveaway. First off, I have talked to her a couple times on a personal basis and I just wanted to say she's a very nice person. Um, and also wanted to say congratulations on your 100 subscribers as well. Um, so, um, with that being said, she has uh, three questions, or not so much three questions, she has one question, but she wants to know three of our favorite blends. So, I've been thinking about this all day, uh, and really, really sitting down and putting some thought into it and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do three English blends, and then I'm going to do three uh, aromatic blends. So, the first I'm going to start out with is the English blends. As far as the English blends go, um, I would have to say, in my honest opinion, as far as anything English-wise go, is going to be Boswell's Northwoods. I mean, that stuff is just amazing. And yes, I'm, I'm putting it above Penzance, absolutely. And it's a lot easier to get than Penzance. Um, so my number two for the English blends would be Penzance. So um, the only difference is, is the Boswell's has a more, um, it has a stronger flavor in my opinion, a more smokier flavor, and I like that, to where the Penzance is a little more mellow and a little more creamy, I guess you would say. And then my third English blend that I like is uh, going to be uh, Cornell and Deal uh, Quiet Nights. Or, no, is it Cornell and Deal or GLPs? One of the two, anyway. Nonetheless, everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, Quiet Nights is going to be my third. And then for as far as aromatics go, um, for a top three on those, I'd have to say my number one <clears throat> would be uh, Lane 1Q. That would be my favorite. Number two would have to be uh, Boswell's Raspberry Cream. It's really good stuff. Um, and then for a third one, I would have to, uh, it's, it's, it's a strong, it's a, it's a, it's a hard decision between Cult Blood Red Moon and Boswell's Cherry Smash. Those are both two really, really good cherry blends. Um, so to me, those two are six of one, half a dozen of the other, as far as that goes. Um, but nonetheless, all six of the blends, seven of the blends that I just mentioned, are in my top favorites. Um, I'll even keep going with this a little bit. <clears throat> as far as Virginias go and stuff like that, as far as the straightforward Virginias, is McClellan's 40th anniversary would be my number one. It's really good stuff. Um, number two would have to be uh, the Sam Goweth, uh Full Virginia Flake. And then probably the third as far as Virginia goes I would have to say um, I really like the Dunhill as far as that goes the Dunhill flake so <clears throat> that would have to be my top three Virginias so now like I said she only asked for three so I just wanted to kind of like spread it out a little bit and you know, go a little more in depth with it and things like that. Um, trying to think, there was one other blend that I tried one time, and I can't think of the name of it to save my life, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was, um, it was an aromatic too. Oh, it was the um, Autumn Evening. It has like a really, really good maple flavor to it. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like breakfast. It's like breakfast in a can. It's like smoking smoking pancakes almost. It's really good stuff as well as far as the aromatics go. So, But uh, 
nonetheless, uh, Harriet, I just want to congratulate you again on your 100 subs, and I'm sure you'll have many more to come, and I would like to thank you for being a member of the YTPC. Not a lot of ladies are in the YTPC, there's a few, so I just wanted to say congratulations to that as well, and have a good night.